So this is a Fresnel lens. This is one that I framed in a swivel platform. I use this one for solar cooking along with a uh, solar cooking table that I made right there. You'll see them both in use later in this video. So a Fresnel lens is simply just a lens that concentrates all the sunlight going through it into a single spot. You can find spot or linear concentration point Fresnel lenses. Uh, all the Fresnel lenses I have so far are all spot Fresnel lenses like the one you're seeing here. But there are some that make a strip of light. They concentrate it into a, a linear concentration point. Now there are some weaker and some stronger Fresnel lenses. This particular one is a weaker Fresnel lens. That's why I like it better for cooking. It's harder to burn stuff. Um, but I have some Fresnel lenses where if I was to put this stick or this uh, plywood in front of it, it would probably catch fire in about five seconds. So you can find Fresnel lenses for sale on eBay or you can just try and find a projection screen television. Most of them have a Fresnel lens inside. If you're seeing the bottom half of that cabinet in the background and wondering what that is, that's a solar furnace, but I'll be showing that in the very near future in a video. So what you're seeing here is the first time I tried to do some solar cooking with a Fresnel lens. took a glass casserole dish and just painted the outside bottom part black so the light would be attracted to it. And we tried cooking some shish kebab. And you can see a temperature reading after about 10 minutes of it sitting in there was about 250 degrees. This is the same setup about 15 minutes later. You can see on the right I thought I'd try and do the same thing with a little parabolic mirror, see if I could cook anything with that. It didn't work out too well. But that's in the video. So although the shish kebab with the satellite dish didn't turn out well, the shish kebab with the Fresnel lens turned out really well. Uh, it was cooked all the way through, even the chicken at the ends was nice and flaky. Uh, I'm a lot better with solar cooking now. I know now to break the shish kebab in half, keep them both in the, in the spot, and uh, put oil or water on the bottom. But anyway, uh, there's many more cooking videos to come. Fresnel lens has a lot of power, whether you use a weak one or a strong one, the applications are great. So I know now whether using the parabolic mirror or the Fresnel lens it can get really high temperatures even in the cold winter months up here in Canada and that's leading to the next video. All of this is leading up to an idea I've got and we'll check that out in the next video.